Well, good morning, YouTube. This video is a response to a comment for VW64, I believe it was. He asked me, how do you go out where you're at in the woods? So I directed him first to my video from back in the summertime, uh, Marine Style Privy or something like that. I forget exactly how it was titled, but I, I sent him a link to it. But now we're in the middle of winter time, and sitting outside in the cold ain't such a nice thing. So, let's take a look over here. Yeah, I done moved my privy inside. Now, I showed you this when I made it. Okay, they got the bucket underneath that I take a dump in, and that's the one I take a leak in. And they go out, and about... Uh, 100 yards out through that tarp, I got a pit that I dump them into. It's called a composting toilet because, see this pile of dead leaves I've got right here? Well, when I bring the bucket back empty, I pick up some of them dead leaves and I put them in the bucket. And when I go, I go into the bucket on top of the leaves. That keeps the stuff from freezing into the bucket. And I have a proper commode seat. Now, on the really cold days, now remember, I don't yet have any heat in my little uh, shelter yet. Right now, my shelter is just dry storage and nothing else. But when I need to come in here and go on the really cold days, like when it's sub-zero like the other day, I take some towels and I heat them over my camp stove, make them really hot, and tuck them in my coat. And then I bring them over here. And I lay them on the toilet seat, wrapping around the seat. And then I sit down on them. And it makes it a very nice warm seat to sit on. And that's how a Marine handles living uh, rough out in the wilderness and having to go and not wanting to cop a spot because of severe arthritis. So there's your answer, WV64. Peace out. Well, boys and girls, it's time to take care of the morning constitutional. And I don't mean to whip it out and let it flicker portion. So what you see here is my commode and my little stove. Well, well, if I can keep from dropping it and starting a fire in the leaf mold, I'll be doing marvels. So we're going to set this down in here. I've got a brick down in here to set it on. Okay? And we're going to turn it up. Well, if and when I can find the valve. I'm going to turn it up to full bore. Okay? Now, we're going to close the toilet seat lid. Then I'm going to take this towel that I've got here, and I'm going to drape it across here. There, like so. That's going to keep the heat inside. Then underneath there's an opening here in the front, I'm just going to set that bag of leaves in front of it. That'll keep the heat from coming out that way, most of it, anyhow. And we're going to let that sucker sit and warm up for a few minutes. And I'll bring you back when it's ready to use. Okay, 10 minutes elapsed time. And this thing, now ready to use. That toilet seat is nice and warm. Not hot, just nice and warm. Let's take the stove out. And then my bucket goes back in here underneath. And it's ready to use. All i got to do is move this bag of leaves. And that's what that is. That's a bag of leaves, dry leaves, to go in the bucket. And now it's ready to use. But I'm not going to bring you along and share that part. <laughs> We're not talking about the whipping out and let it flicker part. We're talking about the sit down and take care of business part. And that's how it's done out in the woods. When you get to be my age, you don't go out and hang it over a log somewhere or cop a squat over a hole. Because when you have severe arthritis, those kinds of things just are out of the question. So, from here at Camp Camp Smithy, peace out. By the way, don't forget to...